Hi everyone, Richard at Plum Dog here. It's, uh, it's Friday, someone's got a blocked kitchen sink and we've been called out to clear it. We don't want to be leaving someone all weekend with no, uh, no kitchen sink, so let's go take a look and see what we're coming across. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you're notified each time we upload a video. Okay, so I'm around the side of the house. The kitchen is actually on the opposite side. So what that means is the uh, the kitchen waste pipe runs underneath the uh, the slab of the house, um, directly opposite and into the drain system on the opposite side of the house. So what we've got down here is um, is just an overflow gully. So if the drains block up, then the water just disperses out of here into the ground and then protects everything in the house. Um, and I'm not sure if you can see there, but basically there's it's full of water. So that gully should always have water in it, but it should be down at the uh, the trap height, which is a lot lower down. So what it actually means is that the um, the gully itself is blocked. So the uh, the kitchen waste pipe um, sort of tees into that gully. Um, so if that if that's uh, the height of the water is above that, that means that that waste pipe is full all the way back to the kitchen as well. So in this case, at the moment, it looks like it's more likely the the gully that's blocked and not the uh, the kitchen waste pipe itself. Um, and smell of that it just smells like grease from the kitchen sink so my instant thought is that there's um there's just a, a whole heap of grease at the bottom of that uh, that that gully trap that just needs clearing out so what i'm going to do is i've already got the uh the drain jetter set up from from the back of the van um so we can put high pressure water down it but just to start with i'm just gonna give it a quick plunge and see um and see what we're dealing with we never recommend just plunging because um yeah, we need to sort of investigate further to put a guarantee on it, but I'm just going to give it a bit pl bit of a plunge and see what we're dealing with. So, let's uh, plunger in there. All right. All right. So as you can see, the uh, the drain gull is now clear. The water level stayed down low below where the junction is to the kitchen sink. The kitchen sink has now been able to empty itself of water into the gully and, and into the main drains. Now, a lot of plumbers would just pack up and take payment and walk away right at this point, which I could, but because we've got the uh, the specialized equipment here, the, the Jetta and the CCTV, why not just give it a quick flush through with the Jetta, just, just confirm with the CCTV that both the gully and the waste pipe up to the kitchen sink is clear and then we can put a guarantee on the job and the customer can be um, kind of peace of mind that it's not gonna happen anytime soon. Um, just just plunging gullies and toilets and, and all that sort of stuff is, yeah, it's not a thorough job in my opinion, so. over to the rigid nanny, nano cam just at the side of the property down the gully and I'm just going to reach down with my hand and see if we can go upstream of the kitchen sink alright so as you saw then went um, put the Nano cam up the uh, the waste pipe line up towards the kitchen and got grease on the uh, on the lens of the camera straight away. So there's definitely grease in there. So the reason why we don't just plunge. So what I've done is just changed the nozzles. So this one's got no forward facing jets and all rear. So as we feed that up, it's only going to clean sort of the pipe behind and not sort of into the blockage. Although I've got a, a towel in the kitchen sink, 
so that any water that because we're going to be feeding right underneath the kitchen sink there and so any water could spray on the ceiling so i've got towels in there but just just because we don't need there's no actual blockages um we're just literally cleaning the pipe so we just need rear facing jets only so it just cleans through the pipe so um i'll just feed that up the waste pipe and hose there with my foot so it doesn't fire in my face because I'm only doing this one-handed because I'm filming. Alright, so it's going up towards the kitchen sink now, right underneath the house. Clean most of the way to the sink. I'm not sure if you can see, but down at the bottom of the gully there, it's all full of bubbles and grease and, and what have you which has obviously come out of the waste pipe um, so I definitely need it doing now I'm going to use the CCTV for the rest of the way because we don't want to go too far with the hose without knowing where we're going so we always use the CCTV combined with the Jetta when going upstream particularly um, last thing we want to do is get our gear stuck in the, in the waste pipe there so so we're back in the waste pipe. As you can see, there's lots of white grease and foam and what have you. And just see the blue Jetta hose on the right hand side of the screen. So what we're trying to do is sort of go up as far as possible up, up the waste pipe to where the head is of the blue, you know, of, the, of the Jetta. And then try and just guide it there you go, there's the head. Oh, so actually that's a, that's a build up of grease. Because it's only a single head on there. I'm not sure, so let's keep going. Yeah, so that was the head, I think it's actually stuck on a piece of um, fat. So you can see how white and clogged up that. The camera lens is now, so this means that the pipe was full of fat. So we're hitting fat now, which obviously needs to be cleared out because although this external gully is clear, it's just going to block again. So hence why we don't just plunge. Oh, there we go. There's loads of grease. Yeah, I'm hitting the blockage now. So what I'm going to do is turn the jetter back on and then follow the, the jet ahead to where the camera head is. This pipe's clean and we can see what we're dealing with. So let's go further up. There's the Jetta head again. That's just a reflection of the head in the bottom of the pipe there. Look, it's only a single head. It looks like a double head on the screen, but it's the head's the one attached to the blue hose, and that's just a reflection. Anyway, let's keep going. Oh, there we go. There's more grease build up there, see? So keep going, keep going. Keep going. It's hard because we want to clean right underneath the sink, but we don't want to go too far past the fittings because there's tight fittings in the ground to change the direction to come up to the kitchen sink and if we get stuck in there we're in big trouble so let's give it another clean
there we go. So that, there is a fitting. You can see the rim of where it's been glued on. I believe. Oh, there you go, there's still more fat around that. It's like a change of direction, but there's fat in there, you can see. It's gone white again, see? Look at that. So we need to go a little bit further and clean further, which just gets riskier as we go further up. the screen there you can see so this is the waste pipe which is just horizontal under the slab of the house and then we see that glued fitting which is a change of direction you can see like little squirts of blue glue there from when they've glued it together and if we go around the corner and we're basically facing straight up in the air now to the kitchen sink in fact I think you can yeah, so it's just bits of glue. So I think we're, yeah, we're going upstream now. So as you can see, that's all clear. We don't want to get involved going any further up there at this stage. So come back and you can see that the pipe is now 100% clean. So all we've got to do now is, is basically turn the jetter on again and then just, just pull the hose back out, which is going to clean the pipe thoroughly and then just give it a final inspection at the end. All right, so I've pulled out the jetter hose all the way. And then, so coming back from the kitchen sink, all the way back to the overflow gully here, just to give a final inspection. And you can see that that pipe is clean and clear and that's not gonna block up anytime soon. wet off my brow it's mid-february here in perth pretty much 40 degrees at the moment stinking hot there's my jetta mini reel and the cctv nano cam there as you can see so rather than just plunge a drain and, and think it's clear use the equipment that's in the van cctv identifies that the waste pipe is also full of fat and use the Jetta and CC combined so that we can guarantee that we clear all the way from the sink all the way to the gully and then from the gully into the main. So job done. Thanks for watching guys and hope you learnt uh, some about what we do here at Plum Dog on this video and we look forward to catching you on the next one. Take care, goodbye.